Today, we're going to meet Rowan Blossom. He's a spellcaster. His traits are love the outdoors, foodie, and good. He has the freelance botanist aspiration. His career is gardener. He lives in Henford on Bagley. And his season is spring. He loves nature in general. When he's working on his plants, it's when he's the most happy. The nature sounds calms him down. His main focus as a spellcaster is brewing potions. He wants to have a good relationship with all sages. He wants to master cooking, gourmet, herbalism, and gardening skills. He takes care of the plants at the realm as well. This is what he feels like he was born to do. He needs to make friends with the sages and he began with Morgan. And apparently, they have a crush on Rowan. I can't blame them. He's adorable. The second sage he met was Simeon. Simeon didn't like our boy that much. Simeon thinks Rowan is annoying, while Rowan thinks he's strong-minded. And then the last one, is El Fabo. Rowan thinks she's pretentious, but very attractive. El Faba's first impression of him is anti-crush. At least one of the rules says he has to marry with a human, because only Morgan from the realm liked him so far. But he's such a nice person. He made dinner for everyone. When Rowan came back home, he wanted to jog. After that, he saw a vampire at his door and chatted with him. His name is Edgar Hart. He's erratic and it kinda amuses Rowan. He thinks Edgar is fun to be around. As soon as Rowan got inside, it started pouring rain. Because he's a foodie, He's always watching the culinary channel. Always wants to learn a new recipe. In the morning, he received a call from Edgar asking if he could stay for a few days. Rowan is a good boy and said yes. And Edgar is already taking advantage of him. But he laughed at Edgar's mischievous movement. I guess they can be great friends. He wanted to go for a ride. He loves how peaceful Henford is. In the meantime, Edgar was at his house, talking to himself. I just love him so much. It started raining and he had to go back home soon. When he arrived, Edgar was naked and got hit by a lightning. This teen girl asked if she could stay until the rain was over. She was scared. Rowan let her in and then he found a fox inside his home Rowan told her she should call her parents. And soon the girl's father was here. After the girl left, he had to read a book for his job. But another knock on his door. Everyone wants to visit Rowan, apparently. This is Victoria. Edgar's sister. She doesn't look happy that her sibling is here. I think she wants him to come home with her and wants him to stop treating food as friend. 
while they were discussing whatever in the living room. Rowan is so over this day. Next day, he found a thief. Are you happy, little dude? Edgar was still here. But it was clear to Rowan that his sister misses him. Edgar didn't react so well. But then he said, Whatever is this fight between you two, you should end and talk to each other. Rowan and Edgar were at the kitchen talking when this woman showed up. She put her pants down and did exactly what you think she was doing. Rowan saw her and went outside and fought her. And she ran away, half naked. Edgar left and Rowan is finally alone. Bye bye Edgar. After the whole mess, he decided to go on a trip in Granite Falls, his favorite place. He met Clement, the forest ranger. Outside the realm, Rowan is quite popular. Being surround nature makes him happy. While the days were hot, the nights were cold. He put his tent down and made himself a hot dog. I took a dive for an API. Babe, I want you to see. Isn't this nice? I just love watching him doing the most mundane thing. Rowan is looking for love in Granite Falls. She gained a whole makeover. For them to dislike each other. Nice. Really nice, Rowan. But we're gonna keep looking for his love. Maybe it's gonna be the mailman. Maybe a man in a bear costume? I know he met a lot of potential lovers, but none worked out. But he won't give up. Because this legacy, it has just begun.